So at this time, um, uh, we'll ask uh, Mr. Anderson if you have your statement to give it. Standard Thank you, uh, Chairman Manchin, Ranking Member Barrasso, and members of the committee. I'm honored to be with you as President Biden's nominee to be the Solicitor of the Department of the Interior. I'm joined this morning by my daughter, Sydney, uh, who is behind me here, but regret that my wonderful wife, Marilyn Hyman, was unable to join me due to the, the COVID restrictions, but I know she's watching uh, online. Uh, I'd like to talk about my, my values and my commitment to uh, public service. Uh, I was born in a, in a rural area of northeastern Minnesota in the midst of some of the most beautiful wild public lands in the lower 48 states. Uh, my family lived in the town of Ely, adjacent to what is now the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. My parents, John and Eleanor, raised me and my four older brothers in Ely. We spent the summers living and helping my widowed grandmother operate a rustic family resort composed of seven drafty cabins on the shores of Burnside Lake. My grandfather, who had served in World War I, used his bo bonus money for the down payment on the property, which remains in the family to this day. This is in the Aboriginal territory of the Ojibwe people, and I am proud to be a tribal citizen of the Boys Fort Band of the Minnesota Chippewa Tribe. I'm really grateful for growing up in a rural area where I still spend significant amounts of time. I took for granted the joy and wonder of being in a forest where I could play, hunt, and enjoy clean lakes for swimming and fishing. My time in large cities has made me acutely aware of the importance of public lands to all Americans. At the same time, my rural roots exposed me to the struggle to balance conservation with economic development uh, from extractive industries. My dad worked in an underground iron mine when I was a young child, but we also depended on the tourist industry for part of our livelihood. The intense local debates were part of my growing up over the uh, appropriate balance of conservation and development, a dialogue that continues to this day. I'm proud of the fact that my four older brothers and I all graduated as first generation college students in our family. I attended local public schools, graduated from a small state university and the University of Minnesota Law School. I received an outstanding education that was also affordable. I regret deeply that my parents and my older brother, Mark, who, was, who, like me, was a lawyer and a mentor to me, have passed away. I think they would have been pleased to see where I sit today. My first job was as a staff attorney at the Native American Rights Fund in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, in 1984, I moved to Anchorage, Alaska as one of two attorneys who opened an office for that law firm to work on matters related to tribal status, tribal jurisdiction, hunting and fishing rights, uh, and amendments uh, to the Alaska Native Claims Settlement Act uh, that were important to protection of the, tribe, of the Native Corporation land base in Alaska. I had the gratifying experience of representing a revered Alaska Native elder named Katie John in her successful battle to secure her subsistence fishing rights guaranteed under federal law. I was able to represent Alaska Native tribes and organizations throughout the state on matters related to self-determination, protection of subsistence rights, and relationship of public lands to the Native community. In the course of this work, I came to know Secretary Babbitt and Solicitor John Leshy as I sought to persuade the government to join the Alaska Native side of some of the litigation I was involved in, which was a successful after that effort. After that, I was appointed Associate Solicitor for Indian Affairs, uh, which I held for two years. After that, I was counselor to the Secretary. In that position as counselor, my portfolio crossed all bureaus in the department, exposing me to the breadth of the department's important missions, experience that will serve me well should I be confirmed as solicitor. Upon leaving DOI in 2000, I entered academia, and for 20 years, I've been a law professor at the University of Washington and also at Harvard Law School, where I've been a visiting professor for one semester per year. I've worked on uh, many issues and taught classes, not just in American Indian law, but also in water law, which emphasizes state water law and Bureau of Reclamation laws, natural resources law, public lands, uh, grazing, uh, mining law, and oil and gas uh, development. If confirmed, I would be honored and humbled to work with Secretary Holland to achieve her and the President's goals to protect our environment, fulfill the federal trust responsibility, and act as a steward of our natural resources for future generations. I commit to high ethical standards in all aspects of the Interior Department's operations. I look forward to the opportunity to serve as the leader of over 400 tremendous attorneys who have dedicated their careers to public service. Thank you. 
I'm ready to answer any questions you may have. Thank you, Mr. Anderson.